Tennessee, I mean, a whipping, 44-6, to six, just destroyed Kentucky. I, I don't even know how to begin uh, to get into what is what happened there. Uh, it, it was over from the word go. It felt like the first drive down the field, uh, Jalen Hyatt, just two catches, 60 yards, averaged 30 yards a catch. One of them was a 55-yard touchdown, of course, because that's what he does. Let's go and pull up the stats on the screen so that you can see. But again, domination. 422 total yards to only 205. Uh, 19 first downs to 14. They had three yards per play more than Kentucky did. And it, it was never even close. Uh, doubled them really on success rate. Uh, had 15% more standard down success. Uh, this was... Tennessee's good. Like, they, they are They are unbelievable. They make the most of every possession, and it is incredible to see how well this team is gelling. If you look at what they are actually doing, it is it is something to behold because they have turned into a really, really good football team. Uh, looking at some of the stats here, um, it appears we might have frozen a little bit. But, yeah, Kentucky, you know, it was 7-6 to six at the end of the first quarter. Tennessee put up 20 points in the second quarter. They, they scored, Tennessee scored on, da, 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 da. let's see, it was 27 to 6 at the half. They scored on four of their six first half possessions. Just domination. Just destroyed them. Uh, Double O'Neal jumps in. Yep, the Vols are scary. Uh, here's the issue for next week. And obviously, we'll talk about the game more as the week goes on. We're going to talk about it on the BetUS show. Uh, that Georgia secondary is mm, suspect, maybe, a little bit. And Tennessee knows how to take advantage of other teams' weaknesses. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch as we go along because, man, it was it was something else. Chris Rodriguez in this game, 15 carries for 64 yards. He did have one touchdown, and that was in the first quarter, uh, a long of 16 yards. And I just – what Tennessee is able to do on the ground amazes me. They ran the ball 40 times, and they only had to throw it uh, they had 19 receptions in this game. So it's not like they had to have a ton of catches. It's not like they were throwing the ball all over the place. This is not a Mississippi State, you know, air raid offense. This is, we're still going to run the ball, and we're going to, you know, they had, what, uh, 27 passes. Uh, excuse me, 25 passes. 19 out of 25 passes, which is absurdly efficient. They don't have to pass the ball. This running game is actually really, really good. This offensive line is really good. So that's something to pay attention to. Uh, this game was never close. Never close. Never a chance for Kentucky in this game. And, I mean, we really should have seen it coming, to be completely honest, uh, because it was it was a beating. Hendon Hooker looked awesome, as usual. Uh, I, I don't even know how to really explain it, because he was incredible. The Hyatt kid, uh, he got to meet uh, Chad Ochocinco, Chad Johnson, before the game. Uh, and his quote, I believe Andy Staples said, is, yeah, he's uh, he's taller than I thought he would be. <laughs> it's pretty crazy to think about. Uh, but, yeah, Jalen Hyatt just continues to do the thing. And I, it, this was almost not even worth watching. That crowd in Neyland is something else when that team is good. They were on top of it from the word go. And I believe it was 50 years of night games at Neyland Stadium, and they had some big, huge light show beforehand, a bunch of fireworks, all this kind of stuff. It was really cool. Really cool. What Tennessee is doing this year is surprising and interesting. I, I am looking forward to the game in Athens. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.